What's going on guys? Slim here, back again to bring you guys an updated Mech Knight Invoked profile for the July 2020 format. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, you guys will be notified whenever I upload. You'll also be notified when I stream over on Twitch, link is in the description. As always, if you see any cards that you wanna purchase during this profile, consider using my TCG player link, it's down in the description below, it helps me out and I do appreciate it. With all that out of the way, you guys already know, if it's not Thunders, it's gotta be Mech Knight Invoked because when it comes to Slim, that's just how things are. Now, I took a completely, I don't wanna say totally different approach to this build, but I got inspired from uh, multiple players. I wanna shout out my boy, Ryan Ortiz. He actually sent me a deck list that inspired this, as well as those that are in the Invoked uh, group on Facebook. I took a different approach with this. You may not agree with all the choices, but this is another build that you guys can try. I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, if you guys enjoy it, give me one of these. It helps out more than you know. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. If we can get 100 plus likes on this profile, it'd be awesome. People have asked me about doing Mech Knight, uh, Mech Knight Invoke combos. I can. I'll let you know they're very simple, similar to like my Thunder list. Combos are very simple in this deck and they also are dependent on your opponent playing the game. But if you guys want to see that, you guys want to do so, smash that like button. Anyways, we're going to get into it. Uh, not too much has changed. I mean, the things that changed, I will point out. One thing I will tell you, this is a 40 card list. I know, don't faint. Things were cut and I'll explain why uh, we chose to take this approach. So without further ado, of course, the all-star himself. His name should just be all-star, the invoker, because he literally is the all-star. He does everything. One card Bacaba, just all your fusions, can give a thousand point boost, which is just like, I don't think anyone talks about it, but Alistair being an honest for a thousand is ridiculous. It just steals games. Like, it literally steals games. Easily one of my favorite cards in the game. I'm so glad he's still around. When we get back to real life Yu-Gi-Oh! after the crush card, I don't know if this card will still be around or if the invoked engine will still be around, but for as long as it's around, you damn well know I'm gonna play it. So shout out to Alistair the All-Star for being just one of the best monsters in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. For my Mech Knight lineup, of course, triple purple. I don't think I'll ever change. I don't think I'll ever be able to bring myself to play two purple. I don't know why. I I'll be honest, I don't know why. I think there were times I thought about doing it, I just couldn't do it. Purple's my favorite one. It's one of my favorite colors. It's also just my favorite Mech Knight. Like, they summon a Winda. I'll be honest, this is why I love this card. They summon Winda. I summon purple. I punch. That's all I'm gonna say, I punch. It happens, I'll tell you, I, I really just love purple. It's just like the best card, old school wind up rabbit. We cut to two copies of blue. The reason why we did that, we're not actually playing Morningstar and we're not playing Secrets in this build. So I changed the list up from like what Johnny and I were playing at the 3v3 as well as the UDS. Um, the format is different, so I'm trying to kind of make the deck just a little more consistent to where I'm not trying to go for those kind of go third plays where like, you know, you break their board and then you set up for your next turn. I'm kind of just trying to OTK them as fast as possible with this build. So I decided to go back to my old Mech Knight lineup. Along with the two blue, I've got the one Indigo. Indigo is still very solid. And then I'm still rocking yellow. The reason is, freaking Altergeist, man. I don't know if you guys were watching my stream the other day, but God, I played against Altergeist and I had to break through all four of his back row in addition to everything else. So it was crazy. So that was the Mech Knight lineup I decided to go with. I think it's very solid, very consistent. You get to what you need to. And I'm telling you, yellows, popping ability is huge and the ability to, uh, you know, have a 2800 defense is also insane. So this card's great. So that's it for the mech knights and stuff then the new addition i'm playing korriban this is all because of my boy ryan rt shout out to you bro uh he told me about the trick star engine the very small two card trick star engine that you play in here korriban is awesome you can uh, get to light stage with terraforming you can then get korriban korriban can summon for free you can summon alistair and that becomes your verde or your link two uh for free basically i think it's really good it's also a light from akaba at worst it was something that i wanted to try out because i wanted to change the direction i was doing with this deck because i don't want to keep showing you guys the same list every single time and i made like one change or no changes and i decided like i said to take a completely different approach with this list so i did try this out i actually really really like it so i highly suggest uh you try it out the light stage and the core bait are actually really good for this deck so i'm really glad that was brought to my attention so i want to give credit where it's due but we're trying out core bane i'll be honest i really like it and of course you know damn well i am not playing this deck without the neos package uh <laughs> Freaking rainbow Neos, man. That card shouldn't even be legal. I know uh, as soon as we get Dragoon to the red, things will change. But for right now, this is your red eyes and your dark magician. So when when that changes, you already know we're going to make those changes. But you got to play them both. Uh, they're not actually bricks. They're lights for Makaba. Again, not only that, they're able to, uh, you know, even if you draw them, you can still resolve Neos fusion. So they're fine. You just really don't want to draw them if you can help it. Now the hand traps changes every single list. 
but this deck again while it is able to play like so minimal like monsters in the sense of just a normal summon being alistair you can load your deck with hand traps and i mean you have the ability to go first or second um you obviously want to go second so we have to play all the hand traps you can so i'm playing you've probably seen all these hand traps in all my other decks but it makes sense this is one of the only decks i feel that can really incorporate ash now it's kind of weird right you guys saw in the chaos list we were only playing light and darks that was because of chaos space but in this list it's different so we've got triple copies of ash triple copies of nibiru triple copies of phantasme and triple copies of impermanence now i know you guys are like slim why so many hand traps let me tell you right now man this format is just i mean <laughs> you either nut up or shut up literally against the rock against like the rock deck the elden synchro deck the dragon link deck you need to have every possible answer and all these cards are good the only gripe i have is of course ash bleeding at once per turn but hey it fuels purgatrio so does uh, all mirage but let me tell you comes up a lot just be careful with your ash because if they use heater or something to revive it and do that whole play where they're going to access code talk would be a problem but that's neither here nor there nibiru easily one of the best also a light for makaba phantasma helps you draw into all your cards it's a body on board that can help you otk and impermanence is one of the best because it doesn't get hit by call by the grave so all these hand traps i feel are essential in this deck you can play whatever ratio you want i just feel like if you were to omit ash these are still the best hand traps of the format ash is just in here because you can actually Actually afford to play more hand traps in this type of deck as compared to thunder where you need more monsters and more stuff to get your combos going so that is why i chose this hand trap lineup like i said not everyone is going to agree with it but i feel that this format these are the most impactful for hand traps so i want to have access to all of them uh that's it for the monsters and uh i guess i guess the only trap uh spells of course triple meltdown always until we can't play it anymore still triple copies of invocation so there's something in this deck that's actually not in this deck i'm not playing pot of desires now the reason why i'm only have been testing this out recently with this list you guys have seen it on stream i wanted to get the deck to 40 i cut the pot of desires and people are saying why are you still playing through invocation i'm gonna tell you right now i want to hard draw this card I want to hard draw this card because when Alistair gets stopped, and let me tell you, my Alistair gets stopped all the freaking time. You guys watch stream. It's been Valored. It's been Ashed. It's been everything. And literally just hard drawing invocation, you win the game. Like literally when they waste a hand trap and you then can just go off, make your secure gardener if you're going first and then make a Makaba or you're still going second. You could still just break through everything with their hand traps. It's insane. Baits out in permanence in every hand trap like it's nobody's business. I want to see this card. It's a personal preference. If you don't want to, just play two simple as that but for me i just like three it's just a personal preference again you can just get away with two if you want you are able to recycle it but it's still in my opinion it's not the same as uh, playing the three and hard opening it to play around hand traps i'm going second deck obviously i have to play lightning storm uh you can play cosmic cyclone if you want i'll be honest thought about switching this out for cyclone and the reason why is cyclone has the ability of being a quick play i can chain it to things i can banish a problem i can get rid of things that otherwise would have been a problem however this is a deck that needs bomb cards this is a bomb card it just blows out the game in your favor and that's why i'm playing it at three copies it's just a really solid card i want to see it as much as possible i just want to break through all the back row decks B playing against geist is like is like literally like like you know you know that sound they make when they take their nails and they go against the chalkboard that's literally what it feels like so i just want to have lightning storm for it now here was the change some people have told me to play three and i have a hard time doing it so you don't have to agree with this either but i'm trying out a second copy of neo's fusion you guys know i was only playing two before i i was only playing one before i upped it to two now i know we're not playing desires so why would i play multiple copies I'll be honest, I kind of want to open this card. Uh, you can do all your combos and then activate this. You can go another route uh, with a link to like Cross Sheep or something, and then you can Neo's Fusion at the end, and that could just be a total blowout. Uh, another thing is that sometimes, like, you know, this card can get stopped, which does suck. It can get ashed and stuff. It is good ash bait, but you want to have another copy sometimes. Now, you can play three if you want. I've seen the list that play three. I actually really like that, but personally, I just wanted to try it at two first just to see if I noticed a difference, and I do. So if there was a possible change for the next list i might play three now this is just something i wanted to bring to your attention so that the list is a little different and i've explained my differences like i said you need to test it out to see you guys know how much on stream i play with magnet evoked i play with my ratios all the time i'm constantly changing things around right now this is what we're at and i really like it it's pretty consistent obviously being 40 cards it's consistent and obviously being able to just hard draw our stuff and just otk our opponent is kind of the goal of the deck so for now that's what we're testing uh, it could go up to three though so that's just one thing 
and the one of light stage. This card's actually insane. This card is ridiculous. Locking a back row is ridiculous. I, I can't tell you how much that actually came up. Like being able to melt down, get my stealth, and then like light stage, and then uh, lock a back row, like get Corbin. Like you can do a lot of things with this card. And I actually really, really like this card. I underestimated this card and I really like it. So again, shout out to my boy Ryan for bringing up the Trickstar engine to me. I really like it. It is the first time we've seen the Trickstar engine, but let me tell you, it's, it's got a lot of value in it. So I like it. And then to go with it, I got the terraforming and the set rotation because hey i can set rotate i can get a light stage if i already have a meltdown or something or i can literally uh give them a meltdown or give them a light stage and it just gets me to my meltdown it's just more consistency to get to my meltdown so that's really solid and the last card of course my favorite card my control i mean why wouldn't you play it but that's it clean 40 you guys clean 40 like i said we made a couple changes Test them out. You'll see what I mean. You'll see the difference in consistency compared to our previous list. But like I said, every format, I want to change it up just a little bit, just to give a little more variety. Extra deck real quick. Hasn't really changed. It's still two Macaba. It's still the Purgatrio. Uh, you only need Purgatrio when you're trying to kill them. Macaba at two. I've never summoned the third. The change I made, I cut Kaliga for the, uh, Ag what is it? Ag Ag Agodius. Uh, this card's really good. Interactive on your opponent's turn as well. So I really like this card. It comes up a lot. Uh, it being a light is also really solid. Its other effects are really solid. Wanted to test it out. I've been really liking this card this became the replacement for Kaliga since we're not playing instant fusion so I really like uh I really like this new invoked and then of course this card's broken like screw this card this card's so ridiculous I played against Solomon Gray and Lily spun back their whole graveyard like that's that should not be a thing but it is rainbow dance insane then the usual suspects for Link Monsters, All Mirage, Secure Garden, you guys already know the one card, Makaba. The Cross Sheep, of course, this deck really utilizes it better than any other deck I know. Uh, the Alice through the Mad Invoker, of course, that's another reason we play a Triple Invocation. You can just OTK your opponent uh, with multiple invocations, so you might as well play three. Verde, because it helps us get there to uh, the Neos, uh, Neos Fusion OTK. We've got our generic uh, Phoenix and Unicorn. This hasn't changed. I don't really think it needs to change. I think they're just really good. Like I said, I'm not playing Morningstar in the deck, but uh, I just really like the generic uh, NIST that they add, plus they help out with uh, making Access Code Talker. My favorite link that I'll always play in this deck because you can make it so easily. The new addition, this card's becoming another one of my favorite cards. This card's ridiculous. Like you just OTK your opponent so easily, you just get rid of problematic things they can't respond. So Access Code Talker is just an amazing card. And then I literally call these the Brothers of Destruction. Like if anyone remembers Kane in the Under Undertaker. This is like Kane and the Undertaker, I swear, because they both OTK your opponent. Just comes depends on the situation. You want to have them both. Let me tell you, you want to have them both. Plus, if your extra deck for some reason gets manipulated with, and it happens, if you play against the Lost World Dinos, or you play against the Rocket deck that's playing Silver Rocket, and they rip a card from your extra deck or something, or the Trishula thing, uh, you just want either or. Just in case they try to take away your OTK potential, you're like, nah, I play both, so good luck. But yeah, uh, that is the list, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. It is a little different. Hopefully you guys are okay with that. You know how it is when it comes to Mech Knight Invoked. I have reason behind every change I make, and I really do like the deck. Like I said, you can make as many changes as you want. Um, ratios all come down to player preference. This is just what I've been testing. Like I said, this is a 40-card list, and I usually play over 40 cards, and that'll probably change again in the future. Like, we're just trying out new things, wanting to see just more OTK potential, more consistency, and I think the more you mess with the deck, the more you'll learn what ratios work well for you. This is a deck that I'm constantly going to be working on, same with Thunder, same with all my other lists, that I'm never truly satisfied like i love my list but i'm never truly satisfied there's always room for improvement and i think that's something we can all learn in this game but yeah that's everything for today you guys i hope you guys enjoyed smash that like button if you did 100 plus likes would be awesome if you want to see combos even though it's kind of hard to call this a combo deck but i mean we can try but if you guys want to see something like that let me know just give it one of these but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed shout out to all the mech Knight book players out there we're gonna keep the, keep this thing going always and forever but that's all i got for today you guys today you guys i hope you enjoyed see you guys next time thank you for watching